this is Keith Gleason, host of Indie Comics Relay, creator of the Mighty Mascots, and I'm here with another Indie Comics recommendations video. Before I get into that, just a reminder that Mighty Mascots 7, 8, and 9 still live on In Demand. We are getting close, everybody. Uh, issue 7, 8, and is pretty much done we're we're like i said in previous videos we're tweaking artwork we're tweaking um dialogue you know just making it perfect i go over these books like a million times before i release them and issue nine is coming along pretty good i think ian is just about done the initial artwork and then we just need to color everything and have it lettered so still time to get in on this and um we should be seeing the muscle figures sometime soon. Uh, uh, we were told uh, March, you know, late February, March. So we should be seeing those anytime. I know they're going to come from Canada. So we should hopefully have those soon. So check it out if you haven't. Uh, three new issues and plenty of swag, you know, for the Mighty Mascots fans out there, you know. So check that out. Um, all right. So let's get on to this video for this month uh so every month now i yeah, i've been doing this for about six months now i just i always do my uh my comic order every month because i i use uh dcbs and you have to go through the previews catalog which is where everybody all the comic stores and you know most most um people that have comics have to order from the diamond catalog. So I figured I was always going through it. So it's like, why not make some recommendations for some of the indie books out there, help give them a little boost, you know, like a little spotlight. And it's not every indie comic that I highlight. It's just ones that stand out to me and usually are ones that I'm going to buy. Um, and add to my collection, you know, either they look interesting or I like a creator on the book, something like that. And sometimes I don't buy just the single issues. I will wait until something's collected and I'll let you know about that as well. So, yeah, so let's uh, let's get into it. We have about six, six entries this month that I saw it, a little slim on pickings this month, actually. So uh, but I did see about six that I thought were looked really interesting. So let's start with the first one here. This one is The Lonesome Hunters. It's written by Tyler Crook. And actually, artwork is by Tyler Crook as well. Now, I don't the only thing I know Tyler Crook really from is as a book from Dark Horse called Harrow County, which uh, was written by Cullen Bunn. And it was, uh, I've only read one of the trades and I really liked it. So, I, you know, I'm, I definitely want to get, go back and read more of that. Maybe I'll wait. They probably have like an omnibus of that whole series now. I should check that out because I think it only went about 30 issues or so, but I definitely want to check it out. This looks interesting though. It looks, I just, this cover alone really caught my attention. I really like the, it looks kind of like, kind of weird with, you know, whenever they do something horror ish with kids and this kid with this wolf max looks very interesting. Um, it's billed as a coming of age fantasy adventure, but it's, you know, it, it looks interesting. It's it, the, the premise here says monster hunters, Howard and Lupe are on their way to get rid of the powerful sword, but car trouble leaves them stranded in a small town that be, is being terrorized by a magical wolf and a mysterious child in a wolf mask. While wa waiting for car repairs, Lupe befriends the child and she and Howard are drawn into a war between the townspeople and the deadly beast coming of age fantasy. So I don't know if I'm going to order this one right out the gate. I may wait to this one is collected. Um, it, it's probably going to be about a, a mini series or it doesn't say either way. That's the one thing about uh, <laughs> a lot of the modern series. Now I noticed they don't actually tell you if it's a mini series or if it's an ongoing like dynamite does that a lot, you know? So that's one company I could think of. And Dark Horse, they usually up front, they'll tell you if it's a mini or not. This one doesn't say either way, but I, I definitely want to uh, page through this when this one this when this one comes out. So it looks interesting. So if you're interested in checking out The Lonesome Hunters by Tyler Crook, 
This is the diamond code that you would give to your retailer and have them order your copy of this. If it's Star Course, most com most stores may be getting it anyways, but you know, the ones that are more conservative that just get like uh you know, Marvel and DC may not be getting a lot of indie, so you may have to order it. So you give them this diamond code and the retailer should be able to order it for you. All right, so that's one. Next one up is the Art Brut Brute hardcover. I, I did a comic review of issue number one on the channel. It's somewhere here if you want to check it out. It's in my list of videos. And I would think I was calling it Art Brut. But it's I I since I did that video I found out it was actually art brute it's I think French or something like that but I wanted to recommend this hardcover because this was a I've I've read two issues so far and I'm I'm eagerly awaiting three and four it, it's he's kind of like a artist superhero you know he's, he has the ability to go into paintings and you know see the world and but when he's in the real world. He's kind of insane. So, and uh, I, I thought I thought this was a cool little touch. His sidekick is one of those artist mannequins that you know artists use to pose when they're drawing a figure or whatever. But in the in the painting world, he's actually a live talking mannequin, which I thought was really fun. And it's it's by the the same creative team that did that does Ice Cream Man from Image. And if you read that book, you kind of know the look. And the kind of tone, well, it's it's very different from Ice Cream Man. This is a little more superhero, like Grant Morrison, invisible kind of story. But I highly recommend it. It's it's all four issues, twenty bucks. It's got a lot of extras in it, and uh, they remastered everything because I guess this is uh, they put this out uh, seven years ago through IDW under a different name so now you get to see it and it's real the way it was attended you know so so art brood if you're interested in checking this one out this is the diamond code that you would give your retailer and have them order a copy tell them icr sent you all right uh on to the next one all right this is a new one by mike mignola i don't think he's doing no he's not doing the artwork he's just writing it this is called uh, Miss Truesdale and the Fall of Hyperborea. I, I think that's how you say it, a Hyborea or some Hyperborea. I don't know. <laughs> so, so check that out. It's a, it's a four issue mini series here. Dark Horse is actually listing it this one on this one, and and it looks interesting. It's um, I it looks like it's a tie to like the Amazonian kind of you know warrior woman type of thing but it's done in a i guess it's part of the mignola verse which i haven't heard of i imagine that is right here it says mignola verse series i imagine that must center around hellboy and you know everything that mignola has created for dark horse so i don't know this looks interesting it caught my eye and um i think this could be fun you know and mike mignola is always a good creator so I you know met him a couple times at the Boston shows here, and he's a really nice guy. And yeah, so I'm always open to checking out anything Mignola is working on. And this is the first issue, and it also says it's the beginning of a new Mignola verse series. So maybe worth checking out. You know, who knows? Maybe the character will end up in a film or something down the road. So if you're interested in this, Mrs. Truesdale, his, this is the diamond code. Give your retailer and have them order that. Although it's Mike Mignola, they might carry it, but you know, better to give the code and get it, you know, if you if you want it, rather than wait for a store to actually carry it, you know. So all right, on to our next book. This is Ghost Lore. I was just talking about Cullen Bunn doing the Harrow County earlier with the Tyler Crook book, but this is a new one by Cullen Bunn for Boom Studios. It's 12 issues. It's called Ghost Lore. It sounds interesting. It is a story about, you know, what kind of ghost stories do actual ghosts tell, you know? And it sounded kind of like a cool premise, you know, especially like, you know, I've seen like a ton of haunted house movies and ghost movies and things like that but it's always nice to have a new twist on that formula and that's what sounds like this is so and, you know and, and i've met cullen bunn years ago at heroes con really nice guy and you know um i know he's a big horror fan so 
you know, I feel like this is going to be a winner. So 12 issues. I'm definitely going to check out at least the first couple, make sure I like it. And, uh, you know, I, I think I'm going to order it in the floppy version, you know. So if you want to check that out, this is the diamond code that you would give your retailer and have them order it for you. Boom Studios is doing some cool stuff. Like they've been blowing up the last couple of years with different projects. So this looks like it's still going in that upward momentum. So so check out Ghost Lore by Cullen Bunn. And uh, let's move on to our next one. All right. Next one is Masquerade by Kevin Smith and Andy McElfresh. Seems like I got a lot of dark horse on uh, the recommendations this month. They seem to have the best stuff this month. So uh, that's kind of where it's coming from. But this one was a mini series that I had saw, you know, I saw it was coming out and it looks cool, but I was like, this will probably be better as a, a trade paperback. And here we are, the hardcover. So I'm definitely going to buy this one. I like Kevin Smith's writing when he does superhero stuff. And this one looks like it's a, you know, vigilante, but like a really violent one, you know, like a Punisher type. So I I don't know. I'll check it out. It, it's it's got it stars a social media star. And it says, what is it? Provocative social media star and shock TV sensation. And she has a most recognizable face in the world. So she's trying to capture a, a murderer. So that this sounds cool. Like I like a good uh, you know, vigilante story, you know, so four issues. And I'm sure the hardcover has got all kinds of extras, including all the I'm sure there was a ton of variant covers and things like that. So so if you want to check out Masquerade, this is the diamond code that you would give your comic store and have them order you a copy of Kevin Smith's newest uh, book. All right, and then on to our last recommendation for March. This is the North Valley Grimoire, issue one. This is from that new publisher called What Not Publishing. I've, I've highlighted a couple of books from them in the past few videos, and um, this one is writer Blake Northcott, uh, artist Giuseppe Kefaro, and um, they they bill it as spycraft meets spellcraft, a James Bond style adventure fused with the supernatural suspense of the magicians. Sounds interesting. I um the reason I I'm willing to probably take a chance on this one is I read um and I I just um opened up uh did an unboxing on the channel like a week or two ago and i finally got uh nora's saga from allegiance arts which is the comic company that was putting out books into walmart and one of my favorite titles they put out was nora's saga and that was written by blake northcott and that was the only kind of um exposure i had to her writing and the thing i really liked about that book is it's it was a book that was I'm not the target audience. It was because it stars like a, a little 10 year old girl who's lost in this fantasy dimension and, and try, is trying to get back home. And the thing that struck me was that, you know, I wasn't the target audience for it, but I thought the book was great. So I, you know, and I, I'm glad I got the trade paperback. Now I can finish that whole first uh, six issue run. So I'll be reading that soon. But I liked Blake Northcott's writing enough to to try something new. And this looks cool. I love this cover. It looks very, you know, like I see some giant tentacles. So it has sort of that HP Lovecraft kind of influence in the background. And, uh, you know, uh, what was I going to say? James Bond mixed with spells and magicians. I think that's kind of be kind of fun. Um so I'll definitely check out number one of this. So this looks really cool. So check that out. If you're interested in trying this one out, this is the diamond code that you would give your retailer. Tell them you want the North Valley Grimoire. It's six issues as well. So, so check that out. All right. I, that is all my recommendations from this month. It was, like I said, there wasn't as many. You usually have like about eight or so. It seemed to only be like six, you know, and that was stretching it. I wasn't going to put Art Brute in there since I had done a review for it, but I wanted to highlight that so people would check that one out. Um, all right. Well, we'll see next month. And usually the 
in the springtime, you'll see a lot of new releases because they try to get it out for summer release because you're ordering this stuff a couple months ahead. So we'll see what the, the next two months have to offer for cool indie releases, you know. So, but all right, everybody. Well, thank you for tuning in. Uh, join us on Tuesday. We are live at 8 30, our new time. Um, with a guest who has a Samurai Cthulhu book that looks very interesting. Uh, we're, we'll be talking to him and I'll be catching up with Johnny from the past two weeks and, you know, everything like that. So check us out. We're, gonna tr we're experimenting with dates and times, you know. I think 8.30 could be really good because our show's been going. We started off as like an hour runtime, but it's become like more like 90 minutes to two hours. So getting started early seems to make a little more sense, you know, so that we actually get to bed and get up at our jobs at a reasonable time. So, but um, all right, check us out Tuesday night and um, have a great week and read some comics. All right, everybody have a good one and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.